Hello, I'm Mike. This is Will. We are the Tabletop Donkeys. Hello. And we bring you issue 58 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest today. And in this issue, we got a Space Marine attack bike miniature. Before we go into the issue, as always, if you want to skip straight to the battle report, there'll be a time code in the description. So heading into the issue, first up, we have some background on the attack bikes themselves and a fairly old bit of artwork there. So effectively, they're a bit like the Land Speeder. They're a fast vehicle with little to no armor and uh, packing heavy, a heavy weapon. And over the page we've got uh, show the white scars, the bike specialist, obviously use a lot of attack bikes. And here we have some history of the Raven Guard chapter. So we learned about them in the last issue, I believe. So it's going up to their history from the 30th millennium to the 41st millennium. And here we have some backstory on the Tau Empire. The uh, So they are one of the alien races in Warhammer 40,000. They're quite a technologically advanced, quite a young race as well. And they follow a strict caste system, everyone based on the uh, four the four elements plus the uh, ethereal. And we have some symbols here of the different Tau Seps, sort of sub factions almost within the Tau Empire. And we've got some showcases of some of their models. So two characters here: Commander Shadow Sun and Commander Farsight. And then some of the other models, including a uh, Vespid and a Crute, the uh, client races, effectively auxiliaries of the Tau Empire. And some more showcases of more models here. And we've got a build guide for our attack bike. So it's essentially a bike with a little side pod attached. So the bike sprue is exactly the same. Uh, I would suggest obviously uh, keeping the two riders separate before you paint them. And also possibly the two halves of the bike. I kept them separate when I painted them and glued them together. And you also get some nice little extra details you could possibly put on some of your older bikes as well. Like pouches and extra guns and purity seals and things. And then we have the painting guide for the attack bike. It's going to be fairly similar to other spaceman units. It's mostly blue since they go for ultramarines. And painting the bike itself is basically going to be the same. But yeah, that's the quick overview of the issue. We'll head into the mission now. So now we're on to our battle for this issue, and we've got a little bit of explanatory fiction here. So apparently the battle for Kalon is not going too well, and the Space Marines are trying to find a way out. So they've sent a strike force, essentially, mostly with a lot of vehicles in it, to capture a road out of the city to try and effect a withdrawal. So there we are, there's our mission title, Bike Breakthrough. And the Space Marines have to capture two objectives. Uh, you can see on our board here the Death Guard deploy in the deployment zone on the city side of the board. And there's an objective to be placed right in the middle of the board, which represents the road, capturing the road. And then there's also an objective which the Death Guard player gets to place more than six inches from any board edge, uh, otherwise anywhere on the board. And this represents the motor pool. And then the Space Marines move on to their board edge in the first turn, which is the mechanics edge of the map. So yes, it says the Death Guard deploy all their units first, and then the Space Marines move on in their first movement phase, and they get to go first, obviously, although that would make a great little sense. The victory conditions are eliminate the Warlord, so one victory point each. Uh, there's first blood, one victory point for the first unit destroyed, a victory point for each vehicle eliminated, and the Death Guard have three vehicles and the Space Marines only have two, so there's slightly more on offer for the Space Marines there, and two victory points for holding each objective at the end of the game, and it lasts for five battle rounds. As usual, we have three command points each, as you can see there. And of course we have the data sheet for our new attack bike. Well, this is actually the data sheet for an attack bike squad, because the option to attach the attack bike to the bike squad, which is what is the case in this mission, was on the bike data sheet that we got a few issues ago when we got the bikes. But an attack bike squad is just that, a squad of attack bikes. Actually, it's one attack bike, according to this data sheet. It doesn't have an option to add more, but in the codex you can have more than one attack bike. But anyway, this is just so you can use your attack bike by itself if you want to, if you're playing games not involving this magazine. It's basically a bike with four wounds. Uh, that's, and it has all the same special rules, or well, special rule, which is turbo boost, so it can move six inches when it advances rather than rolling a d6. And then it's armed with the twin bolt gun, like a bike is. Both riders have bolt pistols. And then it can, and the sidecar either has a heavy bolt or a multi melter, which are the same as they are on the land speeder. And here is our new attack bike model, and it comes with two weapon options in the kit, the heavy bolter and the multi-melter. As usual, we've magnetised it, so it's got the heavy bolter on it at the moment, but I can just pop that off and add the multi-melter like so. So, very easy to swap over. So with that, we will have a look at the armies, and then have a look at the board and Death Guard deployment. Well, here is our Space Marine army for this mission. We've got the Primaris Captain here. Uh, we've got a big unit of ten intercessors, and once again I'll point out that with the magazine we do not have enough generic intercessors just by themselves, so we've got a sergeant model at the back, he's 
once again just going to be a generic intercessor. We'll probably kill him off first. We've got the land speeder, which uh, is armed with multi military and typhoon missile launchers again for anti armor duties. The Redemptor Dreadnought. And the bike squad, which now has the attack bike attached to it, as given in the data sheet for the bikes from when we got the bikes. Yeah, and the attack bike is armed with the multi melter again for anti vehicle duties. Yeah, my warlord's going to be the captain, obviously, and I'm going to give him the storm of fire trait because um, he's probably not going to go into melee. I will mention again, just in case, uh, his auto bolt rifle that he has here, his mastercrafted auto bolt rifle, only has two shots because the magazine has not told us anything about the new codex where it has gained an extra shot. And here is our Death Guard force. Uh, it's led by Lord Felthius. Now in the army list it just says Lord of Contagion, which technically could mean Gangrus or Felthius because they both have the same data sheet entitled Lord of Contagion. In the previous mission when it said Lord of Contagion, it actually meant Gangrus because he was in, he was mentioned in the fiction. But I, I've gone for Felthius because otherwise we'd have Gangrus three missions in a row effectively, so just for a bit of variety really. And then we've got seven Plague Marines uh, with two Blight Launcher and a Champion with Plasma Gun and Power Fist, the Tainted Cohort, the Fetid Bloat Drone, the Chaos Rhino, and the Myphitic Blight Warrior. And Warlord Trait on Lord Felthius will be Revolting Irresilient for the 4 plus, discussing it really. Here's our battlefield. We've got the objective right in the centre of the board there, which represents the road. Then I was able to put this second objective anywhere on board that is more than 6 inches from the board edge. So technically I could have put it on top of the other objective, it doesn't say I can't, but I haven't. I've put it over here by the ammo boxes because I probably want to be near those. Then I've deployed. Uh, on board we've got the Myphitic Blight Hauler over there behind this wall for a bit of cover, uh, the Rhino in the road and the Bloat Drone also in the road. Uh, the Plague Marines are inside the Rhino and then in the Teleportarium we've got Lord Felthius and the Tainted Cohort. The Space Marines move on from the other opposite board edge over there in their first turn and they get the first turn so that means we'll be on to Space Marines turn one. Uh, so first things in my turn, the bikes are going to move on normally, just their 14 inches. So they're out of uh, the max range of the blow drone. A land speeder is going to move on normally as well. And then the rest of my units are going to advance. So I'll roll for them. So I'll roll for the intercessors. They get to go an extra six. The captain, an extra three. And the dreadnought, an extra two. So there we are, the intercessors have advanced their 12. So they get to just in line with the bikes. And the, ca the captain ends up in the middle of all my forces for his aura. And the dreadnought I just brought in on my left flank and then it'll be on to the shooting phase. So it's going to be a quick shooting phase. The only unit in range of anything is the land speeder and I'm going to fire at the bloat drone to try and soften it up before it gets into contact. So I've got two shots here on fours because technically the land speeder moved as it moved on. We've got re-rolling ones. And we've got a one so we roll that into a miss. So that's it. I'm not going to use my... can't use a command point because I already re-rolled it. Yep, so that'll be it. So on to death guard turn one. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the Plague Marines out of the Rhino, so you can see they've all bundled out there and then they're going to move normally. So the Plague Marines get to there, and they're obviously next to the ammo boxes. The Rhino has moved up its 12 inches and it's also within range of the ammo boxes as well. Next I'm going to advance with the Bloat Drone. An extra 1 inch, so we can go 11. So the Bloat Drone's advance takes it over there, it's swapped sides, got on the other side of the Rhino, and then the Blight Hauler finally has just moved across the road. Can't get the multi melter in range, so I'm going to stay as far back as possible, try and avoid any charged shenanigans and uh, it gets to the Plague Marines within its aura of cover. And then at the end of my movement phase I brought down Lord Felthius and friends and they're going to go in here in the cover. So if they're near the objective they're not going to be charging this turn but that's not really the idea. So with that we'll be on to the shooting phase. I'll start with the Blight Hauler because it dictates what I might do next so it's going to fire its crack missile all the way over here at the land speeder. And then it'll be hitting on a four, not really rolling anything. No, so it didn't hit. We'll do the Plague Marines next, they're going to shoot everything at the bike squad. And we're going to start with the Champion's Plasma Gun, which we will supercharge because we've got the ammo boxes. So one shot, hitting on a three, it did. Wounding on a three because their toughness five, that did. Six plus armor save. Nope. Nope. Use a bike. Yeah, two damage. Then we've got the Blight Launchers, four shots on threes, we're rolling ones. Well, they will hit. Also wounding on threes, we're rolling ones. Four three wounds at minus two. Yep, five plus armor saves. Made one, failed two. So D3 damage to the first one does three, so that kills a bike, well potentially, and the second one just does one. So you can either kill a bike and take one wound, or you can just kill the attack bike. <laughs> or yeah. some combination of a regular bike and a soldier will go down to one wound. Okay, yep, keeping the attack bike alive until last. Then I've got four shots with bolt guns, and rare occasion where all bolt guns are still alive on threes. Uh, that's two hits. Wound on fives, because stuff is five, that's a wound. Three plus arm save. 
Made it. Made it, so it doesn't do anything. The tainted cohort are within rapid fire range of the bikes, so we're going to fire at them, try and take that last wound off Sarge. We've got eight shots hitting on three, three rolling ones. I knocked some of those, but they were hits. And re-roll the one. No, it doesn't. So that's five hits. Wound on fives. One. Three plus. No. No. Sarge dies. Yeah, Sarge will die. I won't bother re-rolling his arm save. Finally, we've got the Rhino. Uh, might as well shoot the attack bike, because its guns aren't that great. And the attack bike's as good a target as any. So we've got two shots from the combi bolt, because it's not in rapid fire range yet. We've got one hit. Uh, Wound on a five. Nope. And the Havoc Launcher gets D6 shots. Three, hitting on fours, because it moved. Got re rolling ones. Two ones. Ooh, three hits. Winning on fours. Strength five. Oh, triple one. So <laughs> nothing. Uh, that's the end of my shooting phase, and indeed the end of my turn, because I'm far too far away to charge anything. Yeah. Uh, but in the morale phase, yes, the attack bike has to make a leadership test. It's on leadership eight. On the morale side, sorry. Leadership eight. Three casualties, so on a six, it'll fail. No. No, it's fine. So with that, we'll be on to Space Marines, turn two. So, my movement phase, the attack bikes come down all the way down here, so I have to shoot at that uh, flyer. The intercessors and the captain and the dreadnought and the land speeder have all moved up, so the land speeder is now just within 12 inches of the rhino, because I decided to shoot at that. So, with that over, it's on to the shooting phase. So, I'll start with the attack bike, it's going to shoot everything at the blow drone. So, we've got four bolt gun shots from the twin bolt gun, hitting on threes, and they all hit. Really on fives, nothing. And the multi melter hitting on a four because it moved. Hits, wounds on a three. I'll re roll that. It's coming on point. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, next, I'll do the land speeder. Yeah, we'll fire everything at the blow drone as well. So, multi melter hitting on a four. Missed. Missile launchers hitting on fours. One hit, wound on a three. One wound. Uh, minus three, but it's relevant because you've got five. Yeah, five plus one save, which I made. Yeah. I'll do the intercessors next. They're going to shoot at the plague marines. Yeah, I forgot to play Cloud Flies on them, I meant to, but I completely forgot, but anyway. Ten shots, hitting on threes, you're on ones. Not bad. Nine hits. Wounding on fives. Oh, That was a good roll. Three plus saves and three four plus saves, because you've got cover from I've got there. cover, so four pluses. I made all of. Okay. And the three pluses. Oh, oh. I failed both, so. Okay, whatever. Uh, disgusting resilient. Okay, well that's two plague marines dead. Yay! Uh, we'll just take the two bolt guns off the back, like that. So I'll do the Dreadnought next. Uh, it's going to put the Heavy Flamer into the Terminators, because they're the only thing in range. And then its other guns are going to go into the Plague Marines. Okay. So the Heavy Flamer has D6 automatic hits. Two. I'll take that. Wounding on fours. One wound. Um, minus one, but I'm in cover, so three, two plus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the Grenade Launchers, 2D6 shots. Three. Hitting on threes, rolling ones. That's two hits. Rooney on fives. Nope. And the heavy onslaught Gatling cannon. It's 12 shots hitting on fours because we moved to rerun the ones. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's seven hits. Rooney on fours. Yeah, so that's one. Three plus save and three four plus saves. Yep, so those are the three plus. Made it. And the three four pluses. Made two of them. And they're really disgusting. Here is elegant. Nope, so that's another bolt gun dead. We'll take that one. And finally the captain. They'll shoot at the play rings as well. Two shots hitting on twos, you're on ones. Mm -mm. Two hits, when you're on fives. Nope. So in the charge phase, uh, the Dreadnought will declare a charge on the Terminators. Okay, the Plague Spear is in range, so that'll be D6 automatic hits for six. Uh, winning on fives though, uh, re-rolling ones. For five wounds, casually. Yep, four plus arm save. Oh, nice. I made three at least. Okay, so it's down to eleven. And then we've got uh, eight combo ball shots in on sixes. Two. Wounding on fives. One. Three plus. No. Nope. Nope. Down to ten. And then he needs a seven to make his charge. Yeah, no, that's still nine. He's in. So he comes steaming in like that. Then the attack bike will charge the rhino. Combi board hitting on sixes. Nope. And the habit launcher gets D6, 5, hitting on 6s, nothing. Well, 6. Yeah, it charges to there, and it, it can fight the Rhino because it's 2 inches across the barricade is uh, the fighting range. And then the intercessors will charge the Rhino as well. Okay. Probably need a fairly big roll, but no more overwatch. 8. So I'll spend a command point to re-roll that 2 into a 10. That should be enough. So the intercessors finish their charge like that. 
well, Lord Felthius is in range to hopefully intervene, but he can't physically move to get in combat with the Dreadnought, so there's no point. So, the Dreadnought, it'll pile in like this. And then, uh, four attacks, hitting on threes. Three hits, wounding on twos. Yep. Two wounds, I'll take that. Alright, four plus invulnerable saves, made one failed one. D6 damage. Put it in the box, three. Three damage, disgustingly resilient. Oh, three, you go through. So that kills a Terminator. I think we'll lose the auto hitting weapon because they won't be able to shoot next turn. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather have the melee attacks. Uh, I won't spend two power points to interrupt because it's just a rhino. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll pile in the intercessors. So they've piled in. So we have 21 attacks hitting on threes. Is that 18 hits? No, 19 hits. No, 17 hits. And then wounding on fives. Four, three plus armor saves, failed two. Uh, well, yeah, no discussing you do it, so it goes down to eight. And the attack mark gets to go. It has two attacks. Hitting on threes a hit, wounding on fives. Or oh, wound. Yeah, go attack bike. Yeah, it did, actually Yay. did a wound. Wow. So down to seven. And that's all your charges, so now I get to hit back. This Terminator will pile in so that he can actually fight. He has to get closer to that intercessor technically, so actually I'll go over there like that. Yeah. And then we've got uh, well, he, two attacks with the axe on threes. Uh, they both hit, they wound on fives. Rerolling ones. Yep. And the sword, threes, one hit, wounding on also on five. Oh, nothing to the dreadnought. Rhino has three attacks, hitting on sixes. Um, I'll give the attack bike, I suppose, because it's all the same. Oh, I missed. So that's the end of the fight phase. In the morale phase, these Plague Marines lost three people, so if they rolled a six on their morale test, then another one was away. No, they're fine. With that, we will be on to Death Guard, turn two. At the start of my turn, the Rhino might self repair and Lord Felthius' aura might go off. Uh, so we'll do the Rhino self repairing first on a six, it gains a wound back. No. And then the Rhino is within seven inches of Lord Felthius, so it will benefit from his aura, so all of your units that are in melee will potentially take a mortal wound on a four plus. We'll start with the attack bike. It does take a mortal wound. It's down to, to three. The intercessors take a mortal wound. Not Sergeant Decius takes a wound. The fake sergeant. And the dreadnought on the four plus. No. So, in my movement phase, the first thing that happened, Lord Felthius fell back through the wall to over there. Not fell back, but moved back. The Terminators fell back to get out of the melee with the dreadnought. Plague Marines have moved over here. The Blight Hauler has come up here, so it's within two inches of the ammo boxes and within multi to 12 inch double damage range of the Dreadnought. Rhino's going to stay in melee, and then the bloke drone has moved up over there. So we move on to the shooting phase. Um, we'll start with the bloke drone, it's going to put its guns into the land speeder. Can't shoot the captain because the intercessors are closer. So 2d6 automatic hits. Mm, five. You know what, I'm going to re-roll this one with a command point, because it could do quite a lot of damage. Oh, alright, one extra hit, so six hits. Wounding on threes because it's strength six, re-rolling ones. Nope, five wounds. Uh, four plus armor save. Well, Need three of them down to four wounds. Yeah, now it's down to four. Uh, the Rhino will fire its smoke launchers off, so it'll be minus one to hit in shooting. It can't shoot anyway, so it might as well. We'll do the Blight Hauler next, it's going to shoot everything at the Dreadnought. So we'll do the Multi Melter fours, rerolling ones. No, nope, that's a two. The Crack Missile fours, that's also a two. And the Bile Spurt gets three shots on the fours. One of which hits. Wounds on a five. Nope. Yeah, and the Plague Marines are going to shoot everything at the Dreadnought. The Bolt Gun Man will throw a crack grenade. Uh, we'll start with that, why not? Uh, it hit. It wounds on a five. Oh, it did. Four plus armor save. Yeah, I'll go we roll that. Don't want to try D3 damage just okay. yet. Nope. No, it didn't make it. So D3 damage for three. Down to seven wounds now. Then we've got the Blight Launchers on threes. Uh, three hits. Wounding on fives. We roll on ones. No, nope, one wound. Five plus. No. Nope. Another D3 damage. Just one this time. Stands a six. Then the plasma gun, plasma gun, we might as well supercharge it because we've got the ammo boxes. So two shots. One hit. Wounds on A3 because it's strength eight. It did. Six plus. Yeah. No, it doesn't get cover. No. Nope. Nope. four. That is it for shooting. So in the charge phase, Lord Felthius will charge the intercessors. He needs to not roll a level one. He didn't. Uh, and then the bloke drone will um, will charge the captain and the land speeder, and I guess the attack bike as well, and the intercessors, because they can't shoot, but if I roll a really terrible charge, it will still be able to fight something. Got the captain's uh, auto bomb rifle, he's not in grenade range. Hitting on sixes, rerolling ones. We got a hit, we need a five. No. 
Melty melt from the land speeder. Hits. Ooh. Ooh. Moons on three. It didn't. Yep. And the missiles. No. Then it rolls a five. That's not enough to get to the land speeder, definitely. Well, having survived that overwatch, we're not going to push our luck, so we're just going to go and eat the attack bite, and not going to re-roll the distance. Um, but that'll be it for charges, I think. Charging units will be Lord Thalthius. He has four attacks on twos. Uh, triple one, but a six. So death of the false emperor. Is two hits, wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. Wow, only one wound, okay. Yeah. Six plus on a save? No. No, so not Sarge dies, but it's only one wound in that whole thing, so. And then the bloke drone charged. He has three attacks, they hit on the fours. Uh, one of them did. Wounds on the three. Rerolling ones, because it does have a plague weapon. It did. Uh, Five plus. No. no. D3 damage. A two. Attack bite's down to one. And then I get to pick, so the rhino. Well, we might as well try and take that wound off the attack bike, I suppose. Three attacks on sixes. Oh, I got a hit. Wounds on a three, strength six. No, it didn't. Pile in the intercessors. Put all our attacks on the rhino again, I suppose. So we've only got 19 attacks now. Yep. Hitting on threes. 14 hits. Wounding on fives. Five. Five arm saves. I have failed three of them. And uh, so, yeah. Down to four. Down to four. Oh, yeah, and the attack bike will put its attacks on the rhino as well. Yep. Uh, next up. Well, that'll be it for Death Guard turn two, so we'll be on to Space Marines turn three. So, as our movement, the attack bike has fallen back all the way around here, as have the intercessors have fallen back to consolidate opposition on the objective. And the captain's moved up to get everyone within his aura, the land speeder and the dreadnought aren't going to move. On to the shooting phase. Dreadnought is going to pull all of its weapons into the Plague Marines. Heavy Flamer, D6 shots. Four. Really on fours. So there's one at AP minus two. Yep, because you're on range of storm of fire. That failed. And discussion you resilient. Nope. And you kill the bolt gun. Storm grenade launchers get nine shots. Hitting on fours. Middle bracket. Yeah, middle bracket. It's on four. Hitting on fours, you're rolling ones. That's a dreadnought roll. Four hits. Hitting on fives. Nothing. And the Gatling cannon. Hitting on fours, you're rolling ones. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Rudy on fours. Ah. Two. AK minus one, but I'm in cover, so three plus. Yeah, play it past them. I'll do the captain next. Mm -hmm. He'll shoot the rhino. Okay, it's minus one to hit because it did oh, pop its smoke launchers. That is a point. So he'll shoot at the plague marines instead. Okay. No, it's going to be two plus armor save, by the way, so I'm going to shoot at the terminators. Two shots hitting on twos, rolling ones to hit. Rudy on fives. He's got a wound. Yeah, uh, at AP minus one, actually. But so it's it, well, it's a two plus, yeah, because it's terminator. Oh, that's oh. one. <laughs> Double disgusting user, two damage. Oh, made less. Oh, well. So I'll do the intercessors next, they're going to shoot the plague greens as well. 18 shots hitting on threes, you're rolling ones. Hitting on fours, you're rolling ones because you fell back. Yeah. Nine hits. Really on fives. Four wounds. One of them has an extra AP, so we did the three pluses first, and then cover. Uh, so two. The four plus, yeah. They're past that, so it's two wounds with disgustingly resilient. Oh, they don't. They survive. Next, I'll do the land speeder, we'll put everything into the bloat drone. Okay. Melty Melty hitting on a three, we're rolling ones. You hit, wound you on a three, you're wounded. Uh, a five plus invulnerable? Nope. So we're on within 12. So uh, roll 2d6 for damage and pick the highest. Three. Uh, three disgustingly resilient. Uh, it takes two damage. Go to eight. And then the two missile launchers. Hitting on threes, you're rolling ones, two hits. Wound on threes, one wound. Uh, again, five plus. Nope. D6 damage. Four. Disgustingly resilient, so it takes another three damage. Down to five. five, which is in its middle bracket. And the attack bike will put all of its guns into that. Four shots from the twin bolt guns. Hitting on fours, you're rolling ones. For three hits. Wound on fives. There's a wound. Three plus armor. Yep. And the multi motor hitting on a five. Three rolling ones, no. And then in the charge phase, uh, the dreadnought will charge the terminators. Got rid of the auto hitting weapons, so it'll just be bulk, uh, combi bolters on sixes. Nothing. And charge distance. Four. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it's in. in He's in. So he just comes in like that. So he's hitting on fours, we're rolling ones. Rolling that one. No, two hits. Really on twos. Two wounds. Four plus invulnerable save. Made one, fair one. D6 damage. 
Five. And yeah, he dies. So we'll lose the sword, because it's less good. And then well, he does get hit back, so two attacks on threes. They both hit, they win on fives. Oh, around the box. Oh, it's a six, so AP minus three. Three plus, uh, six plus, sorry. No, down yeah. to three. So down to three, and that does drop him into his lowest bracket. Uh, but there won't be any morale tests, because I only lost two models from different squads. And so we'll be on to Death Guard turn three. So the same stuff at the start of the turn as before. The Rhino might heal itself on a six. Nope. And the Dreadnought might take a mortal wound on a four plus, because the Terminator is in melee with it. Oh, we did. Down to two. So in my movement phase, the Terminator fell back out of melee to bring himself there. The Plague Marines have moved up through the gap to be further forward. Bloke drone come over the pipe, and it's, it's technically on top of the tank trap, um, but that doesn't impede its movement, so I just move the tank trap out of the way. And it is within nine inches of the land speeder, just about. The Blight Hauler has come around here. Uh, it's quite close to the Dreadnought, but I'm hoping the Dreadnought won't be here at the end of this turn. And the Rhino is going to stay where it is, and all Felthus has moved up as well. So we'll be on to the shooting phase. We'll start with the Blight Hauler, putting everything into the Dreadnought. Yeah. So we've got the multi Melter on a four. Oh, it actually hit at last. Mm. Wounds on a three. Yes, it did. No armor save, and then I just need to not roll a double one. Yeah, there we go. It blows up on a six. No. Nope. No, it didn't. So that's two victory points for the Death Guard for first blood and uh, destroying the vehicle. We'll do the Plague Marines next, because now that the Blight Drone is down to strength five, it's less good at killing the land speeder, so we'll shoot all the Plague Marines. Shoot everything at the land speeder. Do the blight launchers first on threes. Rerolling ones. That's three hits. Wounding on threes. Rerolling ones. That's three wounds. Five plus. No. no so two, two, three d three damage. Yeah, that's yeah. that's plenty. That might blow up as well. On a six. No. Nope. Land speeder goes down. So that's three victory points now. That leaves the bloke drone to shoot at... Oh, no, we do the Rhino first. It will shoot everything at the attack bike, because if I can take that out, then... Yeah, four shots with the combi bolters. Uh, hitting on fours now, because it's in its bracket, but that's three hits. Wounding on fives. Oh, two wounds. Three plus. Need both. The Havoc Launcher gets four shots, also hitting on fours. But we're rolling ones, because of the ammo box. No. Wounding on fours, so strength five. Nothing. Yeah, we will shoot the bloke drone at the Interstitus, though, not the uh, attack bike. Uh, 2d6 automatic hits, 7. Wounding on 3s, still. Mm, Rerolling 1s, but because it's strength 5, but still covers 4. 4 wounds. Uh, 5 pluses. No, 4, four pluses. pluses. Minus 1. Uh, one minus 2, so he needs to have the dies. I'll take that off the back. Okay. In the charge phase, Lord Felthius will charge the intercessors first. So one man will throw a grenade, and the other 7 will find their bolt rifles. So, grenade. Yeah, six rolling ones misses. And the bolt rifles. Rolling those ones. Get to one hit. Moves a five. Need it. Nice. He can't fail his charge, but I'll roll it in case he gets a big number. Ooh, nine. He'll go up round there. Bloat drone will charge. It needs to not roll a double one, because being on the tank trap. Uh, it does affect vehicles. I'm not sure it affects flying vehicles, but I'll roll it anyway. Well, it rolls uh, terrain, doesn't it? Uh, it does, to be fair. So it doesn't matter. It did anyway. So we'll do the fight phase. Felthius will pile into the attack bike as well. He has four attacks on twos. That's a one, but Death of the Falls Emperor gets four hits. Wounding on threes, three rolling ones. That's four wounds. Six plus. No. So D3 one at a time, so two. So dead, 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 and dead. So that's four dying. Bloke Drone only has two attacks now because it's in its middle bracket, one of which hit and wounds on a three. Yep. Uh, minus two. Five plus. No. D3 damage kills another one. And that's it though for my fighting. Yeah, so this intercessor will pile in a bit so Sarge can fight the bloke drone as well. Yeah. Seven attacks, hitting on threes, we're on ones. Five. Four hits, we on fives. Come on. Uh, no, nope. resilient. Oh, I did. Uh, on the attack bike, I Yeah, the attack bike is to attack Pelvis. Got two hits. No. No. Well, well, the intercessors have to take a morale test. Take a morale test at minus six. Eight. So yeah, minus five. Whoa. Yeah, so on a five or a six, it's bad. No, they're fine. No, they're fine. So that's the end of Death Guard turn three. But I'm just going to concede. Yeah, I think we can see what the outcome's going to be here. You have five models left, three of which are intercessors. There's no not point counting any, any victory points up. So that will definitely be a Death Guard victory. Um, and we'll recap all that for you now. So that was our mission from issue 58 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. Um, I'm almost afraid to ask you how you thought that went, but how did you think that uh, went? Not very well. No, no that's sort of all. Uh, I mean, 
Well, so I mean, not much to talk about. <laughs> no, they, well, let's just get straight into the main point. If you thought well, that was that looked unbalanced, uh, it's probably because it was. Um, the Space Marines were, I think, it's about 120 points down. Something like that. Well, I mean, I know we've we've had points in balance games, but points aren't everything. No. But I mean, I think this no. is actually an egregious case of it. Yeah, this is this is the worst we've had, and it, it shows. Like it, my excess was filled up with pox walkers and cultists and stuff. It was I had all good units. I guess if stuff like your Dreadnought would roll better or your Land Speed would roll better at the beginning, I mean, you did get first turn, although, no, to be yeah, fair, I mean, you, you're not in range in the first yeah, turn. Yeah, I mean, so. this, and um, the Land Speed gets a penalty for moving as well, and so this is doable with the Space Marine Army if you can kill the, the Blow Drone and or the Blight Hauler fairly quickly. Yeah. Because I think, I think it might have been better to try and prioritise your Blight Hauler to get rid of your cover bonus for the Plague Means and try and take them out. I mean, possibly even killing the Rhino just to get the first blood victory point and victory point for killing a vehicle. A part of the problem is that I have to move on in the first turn and I, I measured and I couldn't get any of my other units into range. No. So I, that's why I advanced. I mean, possibly being better to not move the bikes on so far so that you couldn't shoot them with all of your with the blight launchers and the plasma guns and all your bolt guns after disembarking. But I mean, that would have just meant you could deploy the Terminators closer. Well, you probably wouldn't have done that, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll talk about the bikes in general in a minute. But um, I just, yeah, I blew three bikes away straight away and... I didn't. I was hoping to damage the land speeder more. And to be fair, your blight hauler didn't roll very well. Most no, it of the didn't. Game. So because I mean, I think yeah. you basically you need the dreadnought to counter Felthius and the terminators in melee at least. And then the land speeder has and the attack bike have to counter the bloat drone and the blight hauler. Yeah. Unfortunately, the blight hauler and the bloat drone are probably better than both of those. Yeah. The blight hauler. I mean, yeah. It only hits on fours, but it ignores the penalty for moving and shooting. Yeah. And it's got a five plus invulnerable save and disgustingly resilient and more wounds than the land speeder. Likewise, the bloat drone is hard to damage. It didn't. It, it to be fair, its weapons didn't really do much damage this game. Mm. But yeah, um, I mean, I thought it was going to go slightly okay. I mean, I thought I might be able to get first blood on your plague marines. Yeah. Probably the only other interesting point is when I charged the rhino. Uh, the reason I did that was to stop you charging it into me and uh, also get some closer to the objective. But I mean, it might have been better to not charge the intercessors because that just got them closer to Felthius. Although he probably could have just charged them next yeah. turn. He probably would have survived Overwatch. <laughs> Well, I took a risk in bringing the Terminators and Felthys down near the Dreadnought. And the Dreadnought did squish two Terminators, but I had relative confidence that he wouldn't kill all three in one fight mm. phase, and then I could just run Felthys away, although not very far, to be fair. And then managed to dacker it to death with... Um, actually, the Plague Marines did quite well against it. Yeah, they it. did. Quite a good game against it. Yeah. In fact, the Plague Marines shooting generally was actually quite good, made up for the fact that the Blight Hauler wasn't. Mm. But yeah, I mean, in a way, there's not really much more to say about the game... Really, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, basically, as winnable as the space means if you roll perfectly. It's almost like I'll just show you on the camera here. It's almost like well, so you can see there's six Death Guard units there and five Space Marine ones that we've got. It's almost like there were supposed to be six Space Marine ones and they didn't have enough space. Yeah, they can only off the they, bottom they, of the page. That's why none of the games we've had up to this point have had more than eleven units, unless it's been multiples of the same unit. It, it almost feels like there's just a unit missing from the Space Marine. Like if you'd have three Hellblasters. Yeah, I mean, you could probably give the Space Marines to Hellblasters, and it would be it would make, it would make a huge balance. difference, really. And maybe the bikes would live longer because you'd prioritise the Hellblasters. Yeah, exactly. Like and uh, and you know, Hellblasters doing multiple damage. They yeah, can, they're good they can pass as anti vehicle units. But I mean, really, almost anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, to make up 120-ish points, you probably could take the Hellblasters and maybe upgrade the Primaris Captain to the Gravis Captain, so yeah. he can actually fight. But I mean, even if they gave you two, even if they gave you like the Reavers, like they seem to be fond of mm. doing, or the Reavers yeah. and the Scouts. I mean, neither of them are any good against the stuff I have, but at least it'd be more bodies yeah. in an objective game. I mean, shot grenades would actually be pretty handy to have. Yeah, that's true as well. Shot grenades are always useful. Well, unlike the last time you had the bikes, well, ignoring the mission with the bridge, because that was just silly. Yeah. The last time I mean, you actually, had the bikes, actually, you did actually pull off a good charge and tied up some of my shooting I think units. that was mainly down to a mistake by you positioning your unit. I guess it was. I could do that. But I guess, you know, I didn't make that mistake this time. I kept the black hole a long way back with stuff in the way. So I learned something from the previous mm. outing, but yeah. And I mean, if more of my bikes had survived, I did plan to actually do that to yeah. get them around. Yeah, I suppose we could talk about the attack bike in general. I mean, in this game, it, I don't think it actually hit anything with the multi melter. No, but then it had to move. Yeah, I which mean, is... a lot of the things you can say about the attack bike are the same things we said about the land speeder. It has a heavy weapon, but it has to move, so it has miles one to hit. Yeah. I mean, it's a really fast unit, but if you want to use its speed, you have a penalty for firing its big gun. Uh, it's not terribly durable. It only has four wounds, toughness five, three plus armor save. I mean, it has three bikes, so that's an extra six wounds. That's pretty much it. It's yeah. a, t a multi-motor with ten wounds. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, because the, the, the twin bolt guns, I mean, they have a lot of shots, but unless in this, I had no pox walkers or anything. So. Yeah, I mean, we, and with Storm of Fire, I guess it could have worked. Yeah, I suppose. But you've got your mobile cover as well, so... Yeah. 
And uh, you can take the attack bike on its own. Uh, and really, it's a choice between, I guess, flexibility and durability. Yeah, because if you have an attack bike squad, then if the attack bike had been by itself, then I could have just fired at yeah, it. Yeah, you could have just focus fired in. Somewhere else. You know, I could have, it, it wouldn't have had to get through the three bikes first. It's nice to have another anti-tank weapon. It, it will probably be my last choice in a space marine army for an anti-tank weapon, at least... I mean, I like the attack bike model, but I think yeah, it's, it's, great, it, it's yeah. sort of a remnant of like the 80s when Weimar first came out. It's that sort of older yeah. kit. The bikes are the oldest Space Marine plastic kit that we get with this magazine, and they were released in the late 90s, and they mm-hmm. have not changed. So the attack bike was probably released shortly afterwards. I can't remember exactly when, but... Anyway, yeah, but we'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this, um, because... If you if you play the Space Marines and manage to win, do let us know how, what you did. Yeah, we'd love to know if it's, if it's possible. <laughs> yeah, if you if you did enjoy the video, then give it a like and subscribe. Um, we've been the Tabletop Donkeys, and we will see you next time. Yeah, bye for now. Bye.